Praxis, and it's a wonderful day to be back outside and working, even though it's probably about 100% humidity right now, and this, I think it's going to be almost 90 today. I'm really happy to be out here because I'm finally finishing something. If you recall, there's this trench that goes between the house and the shed, and underneath are running uh, the hot water lines that grab the uh, hot water from the solar hot water system. There's also a, a water line that's going into the shed, which is going to feed water to a spigot on the shed and also down to the uh, trailer down there when you know, my parents come and they bring their trailer to be able to get water. And there's also an electrical line which will feed electricity to the shed and again also to the trailer over there. So um, there's a lot under there uh, and I was able to just finish it up today because I was able to secure some extra foam. I've got some foam over here and I was kind of holding that for another project but I was able to get some extra foam so I was able to put the last layers of foam in there. Uh, ultimately there is about four inches of foam. There's a bunch of uh, two inch pieces of scrap under there and then I put some solid pieces of two inch so it's about four inches of foam under the ground and what I'm about to do now is put down a caution tape line and that's really important whenever you're burying anything I know that for you or for I you know we might uh, be under the impression perhaps correctly so that we'll never forget that there are lines down here but uh, it's important to think about future generations that you know are going to be hopefully living in this house if you know it doesn't get destroyed in the meantime and it's really important to give them some warnings about you know things that might be down there that they might not be aware of. So I'm running this caution tape uh, just over the center here. I've uh, uh, already buried the pipes obviously. There was the pipes and some foam and then a little bit more dirt, a little bit more foam and now some more dirt. Uh, the only reason I did it as a lasagna like that is just because of uh, kind of the timing and everything. I really could have put the foam all on top of each other. Uh, and now I'm putting this caution tape down so if anybody goes to go digging if they speak English or Spanish as is the case on this uh, this caution tape they'll be able to know that there is something down here and some it'll give someone pause uh, maybe they'll they'll check to see well there's some lines that go into the house there they may even uh, check well you know where are they heading do they go out this way do they uh, they'll figure out kind of that they go into the shed and obviously just the run of the line is going to tell them if they excavate the whole line what's going on down here, or at least, you know, where things are going on down there, and then they can figure out what's going on. So, I'm laying this down now. I'm just going to shovel dirt on top of it. Uh, the only stuff that's left to do out uh, here is uh, around the shed area. I do want to build up a little bit of a wall, because the footing is not super deep. Uh, I think this is a four-foot wall. There's probably about two feet here, so it's probably only another two feet down to the footing. That's not deep enough uh, for, you know, safety with frost in the winter time. So what I, I want to do before winter time, and there's so many things I want to do before winter time, but one of the things is I want to get uh, kind of some walls of stone out here. I don't know if it's going to be walls of stone, but at least dirt uh, up against there. And if I'm not able to get enough dirt up against there, I'll do what I did last winter, and I'll just take extra tarps and wrap tarps around, kind of give it a scarf. That seemed to work last winter, and, you know, hopefully it would work this winter. But my goal is that I could actually kind of get uh, some little rock walls, put some dirt around there, and then I can have uh, planting uh, around there. It is a metal roof, so it's not a, uh, you know, asphalt roof, so it's not dumping, you know, tar drippings down uh, in into the dirt there, so I could grow anything I want down there. So, so that's the plan. But first step is uh, tape, which is already down, and then all this dirt down on there. And it just kind of rained last night, so the dirt's extra heavy. But I'm still happy to be out here. I'm finally finishing something. That's it. Thanks for watching.